This fish went from near extinction to now being the prized produce of Fujian province. It's a billion yuan industry. It's generating hundreds of thousands of jobs along the coastline here. And uh, about 80% of the entire nation's yellow croakers are produced right here, farmed right here in Fujian province in Yingde city and being exported to 60 countries and regions. So we're a few nautical miles out at sea and you know this is entirely floating platforms but you hardly feel the wobble at all walking on this it's incredible and i think life out here fish farming is pretty hard work you're exposed to all the elements you have to tread carefully constantly have to feed and keep an eye on the fish but technology is making life so much easier what stood out to me was when we went up to the bird's eye view lookout mm. is that I saw wind turbines, I saw solar power and I was like, oh, I didn't even think about, you know, is this place on the grid because it's yeah. floating. And then so um, I asked one of the, my colleagues to translate and ask if it was. And yeah, it's 100% renewable energy. Yeah, you know, it's also, it's completely self-powered, right? With the, with the wind and the solar and it's powering 5G networks literally out here at sea. Oh right, that's gosh. that's really impressive because they use um, smart monitoring poles in the fishing pens. Right. So it saves people from being constantly out here, you know, yeah. in, in the rain or wind yeah. or whatever bad weather you have out at sea, which I'm sure is quite common. And they can just do everything from their phones. I think they can also feed fish now from pipes instead oh, of by wow. hand. Yeah, it just makes uh, the work here so much easier. Yeah, and we were lucky to see the fish being fed. Mm. So. <laughs> I was laughing because we were watching the yellow croakers and they were so, you know, fine dining kind of fish when it came <laughs> to the food. And then we saw the pouches and it was a violent, it was like every fish worm yeah, yeah, yeah. In the past few years, China has been stressing going beyond simply food security and self-sufficiency, but also to explore the resources at hand to produce more variety and better quality, safer food. So it's been put into action here in Yingde city. And you know, all of this for tastier yellow croakers on our dining tables. So guys, I'm sorry, we're friends today, but your food tonight.